Sup everyone, I'm your female otaku, and OMG, I absolutely loved today's episode of Dance with Devils. I, I have to be honest right now, this is like becoming one of my favorites of the fall season. This anime, Dance with Devils, it is so good, man. Oh my gosh, like my mind is totally blown at how amazing this episode was executed. Just all these reveals and further um, in case of characterization with a new character and Lindo and even Rem. Just oh my gosh. It's just, it's blown. It's, whoa. <laughs> okay, uh, before I continue with this review, I just want to say one small little thing. I really like making these Dance Devils reviews because, you know, of course, a lot of female, um, uh, I have a big female audience when it comes to Dance Devils. And I gotta say, I, I like the little change of pace and stuff like that because the majority, like, literally, I checked yesterday, 70% of my viewers are guys, which is totally fine. I'm cool with it, man. I mean, I've, I've hung out with guys on my life. I never really had any gal pals, but yeah. So I, I really enjoy, you know, making these reviews and chatting with all you lovely ladies in the comments. It's really a lot of fun, and it's great to see a different kind of viewpoint, okay? But all you guys out there who watch my Dance Devils review, don't worry, you are still welcome. But I do have a lot more fun when it comes to talking to the ladies. <laughs> but anyway, so with this episode of Dance with Devils, holy crap, I'm loving this blue-haired guy, man, okay? I believe he has two different names. I'm not positive, but the main one that I remember is, uh, let's see, uh, Lo Loen. <laughs> look, I said the main one that I remember, and it'll look at a piece of paper. That's great. That's great. Okay, so <laughs> Lo Loen, I like this guy, okay? He's really, really interesting, and I love what he is, okay? Because... So we've seen him as, you know, a pet dog a bunch of the times. And by the way, when he's in his dog form, that is the cutest thing ever, okay? So he is a hell watchdog, a.k.a. a hellhound. That is so unique. I would have never thought of that. I love it, man. <laughs> okay, great job with that. He's something totally different that I don't even see in anime or media in general that is just awesome, okay? So, I really like this dude's personality, okay? And apparently, he's able to get the Grimoire powers out of Ritsuka, which, by the way, Ritsuka is the Grimoire. We got the reveal about the Grimoire within this episode, and turns out it is Ritsuka herself. And her family knew about all this and stuff like that. And just, oh my gosh, that's not all, because Lindo is, in fact, a vampire. Holy crap, he just got, like, 1,000 times hotter, like, Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> okay, like, I think Lin Lindo is the most good-looking guy out of the entire cast. But now that he's a vampire, it's like, Jesus, what, what are you trying to do to me, man? What are you trying to do? He's trying, he's gonna rip out my heart, that's what he's doing. Speaking of ripping out hearts, so <laughs> Lowen, he was actually going to go into drastic measures because, you see, he is really working for Rem's father more than Rem, okay? And so his father is, of course, this huge, huge, big, powerful demon, okay? And uh, so what Lowen was tasked to do was to, you know, get the Grimoire, which is Ritsuka, and he's saying that, like, all Ritsuka's full Grimoire powers will shine on her 17th birthday. So he's all like, come here, come over to this little bed, and you'll be safe. Because, you know, whenever someone says that, you got to trust them. Remember that, ladies. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, and uh, Ritsuka was about to do it because her mother would be freed. Okay? And so she was going to do it, but then Rem actually stopped her. Why would Rem do this? Why is he not on his father's side? For you see, what Lowen explained is that there's this war going on between the vampires and the devils, okay? So, you know, if, of course, if the devils get the grimoire, then, you know, they will be able to win and stuff like that. But not only that, they could also ruin the entire world. So, you know, there's that. Uh, but... Why would Rem stop Ritsuka? Does he not want the Grimoire? If so, why? Maybe he knows what his father is planning to do with the Grimoire? 
I don't know. But Jesus Christ, the storytelling is so good. It's literally like one of the best of the season when it comes to storytelling. Just the way how it executes itself. Every single episode is absolutely flawless. And I'm just amazed. Oh man, this Dance Devils. Bravo. I gotta admit, 10 out of 10, especially with that song, man. Okay, Low End Song is now my new favorite. I didn't really have a favorite per se. I guess maybe the very first song in episode one, I liked that. But I didn't really, I didn't care too much for the rest of the songs. Except for that hilarious one that Rem did in the middle of a fight. <laughs> that was too funny. But anyway, so Low End Song, this episode, oh my gosh, the song was so good. And then the visuals itself were also really great just 10 out of 10 for dance with devils <laughs> oh my gosh yeah okay who's waiting for next week because next week we're getting a ballroom episode oh my gosh like this this anime just ah uh, I, I love it i love it too much I, <laughs> it's, it's fantastic all right catch them later as a review beautiful bones <laughs> sakuraka sounds investigation i'm infimo otaku sayonara